up everyone? How's it going everyone? Hope you're having a great day if you're watching this. I'm Andrew from Electric Dreams and today we're going to be talking about the but therefore writing technique. The but therefore writing technique is a really simple but effective writing tool that will help any story that's struggling. Whether you're a professional or an aspiring writer, this is something that will definitely come in handy whenever you're writing. The basic premise of any story is that a character overcomes some kind of obstacle in order to achieve their goal. However, one of the most common problems in stories is the presence of any obstacle at all or any obvious connection between these obstacles. This is where the but therefore technique really comes in handy because it's a simple and easy way to look at how the events in the story unfold. If this doesn't make sense yet, don't worry. We're gonna take a look at how this works in one of my favorite episodes of Bob's Burgers, Burger Boss. Oh, hey, Burger Boss. Looking good. <laughs> Thanks. So this episode starts off with Bob buying an arcade machine that he is really excited about for his restaurant. But Jimmy Pesto comes in, beats his high score, and leaves the message, Bob sucks on his machine. Therefore, Bob, much like the rest of us, becomes obsessed with the game. He develops carpal tunnel, and he becomes sleep deprived. But Linda, who's concerned for his health, takes the game away. Therefore, Bob ends up tracking the game down to family fun time. But Bob isn't allowed in family fun time without kids. Therefore, Bob convinces the kids to go with him to family fun time. But when Bob finally gets back to the machine, it turns out that he sucks. Therefore, Bob, like any rational person, decides to be up a 12 year old in order to get some coaching for Burger Boss. Now at this point, you probably want me to shut up because you understand how this works. It's pretty simple. My favorite thing about the but therefore technique is that you can look at it in a variety of ways. You can look at something from arc to arc, episode to episode, book to book, movie to movie. It's a really effective way to look at how events unfold in a story. Like any writing tool, it isn't bulletproof, and it certainly doesn't guarantee that anyone's actually gonna like your writing, but it is useful. And that's it. That's the but therefore writing technique. It's simple, clean, and easy. So now you can go out and see if any of your favorite stories follow any of these rules. And if you found this video useful, like, share, and subscribe. It really helps. I'm Andrew from Electric Dreams, and I hope you have a great one today.